Hello everyone, this is the fourth video in a series of videos explaining Boolean logic gates with binary notation. Uh, before this video there came the and, or, and not gates, which I would suggest you check out before you check out this one, specifically since the nor video is the combination of the not and the or gates. Alright, so nor, as you heard, was a combo of not and or, so not or. Uh, if I were to go for a Venn diagram, here we have our original or function. So x or y produces this Venn diagram. But if you do not x or y, it's going to be the direct opposite of this diagram. Let's move over. Not x or y is what this is. This is the nor gate. Now, let's see, we can bring over the logic lab. And here I have a sample NOR gate set up. You can see that with both circuits off, the NOR gate turns on. Now if I were to touch any of these circuits and turn any of them on, the output goes to a false. So 0, NOR 0 is true. 1, NOR 0 is false. 0, NOR 1 is false. And 1, NOR 1 is false. So, let's see for a truth table, we can come over to our Wikipedia, and it looks just the opposite of the or truth table. Okay, just let me open up another tab, and bring you to the or. There's the or gate. You can see over here we have, let me pull it out have the truth table, it starts with one zero, three ones. If you go over to the NOR gate, one one, three zeros. Just complete opposites. Now, I told you before in the other video that the NOT gate doesn't really do much unless it's combined with other things. And the NOR gate actually shows these amazing properties. The fantastic thing about the NOR gate is you can use it to create any of the other gates just by itself. This is useful if you're in a factory and can only produce one kind of chip with mass production. That way you can make any kind of circuit you want and still have the economies of scale. Here, I'll have an example to show you what I mean. Let me bring up the logic lab again. Here we have our simple NOR gate. But let's say we wanted to produce a NOT gate just out of NOR gates. So, NOT gate is only one input, which means we're going to have to take this and split it into two. So if we take A, NOR A, produces a NOT gate. If we wanted to say produce another AND gate using just NOR gates, we would take three different NOR gates. So an AND gate has two inputs, and each input needs to get split for this. We need three NOR gates. And if you want to know where I'm falling off, the NOR page for Wikipedia has in some different binary notation than what is seen here, but directions for how to produce different gates using just NOR gates. And that's what I'm working off to show you guys. So let's move this down for clarity. Let's split our... as I've seen up on the... So, combine everything together like this. So what we have here is an AND gate. So A nor A nor B nor B is A and B. It's a little complicated to how this works out. So I'll show you the Venn diagrams on Wikipedia. Here I have what I'm doing. So, they're using P and Q as their inputs. 
Just assume that it is A and B is what I'm calling it. So P nor P nor Q nor Q. These are the two Venn, diagram Venn diagrams. And the only two things that these both don't have is the center, which happens to match up with and. I'll show you that the gate works. So zero, two zeros is zero. One and zero, zero and one, one and one. So going back to our teacher analogy, if your teacher were to tell you to pick up neither, holy cow, bad spelling, neither your pencils nor your pens you can't pick up either the only true or one that you can get out of this is if you do nothing but it falls on both so that's how this works in English to help you aid in understanding also what we may want to look at is just how this would be in the binary notation I've been showing you thus far. So a not, which is an overline, around an or. That's basically a not, a uh, nor gate. Can't get much more simple than that, I suppose. This, again, being able to group things together. If we were to write our and gate out of nor gates, we would have A nor B nor, so just let me put a plus sign here to begin with, and then, oh, wait, that's A nor A, there we go, and nor B nor B, and then I put an overline over that entire structure and there is our AND gate made completely and entirely out of NOR gates it's kind of pretty in my opinion but I suppose I'm just a sucker for overbars the next gate we're going to look at is the NAND gate which is somewhat similar to the NOR gate it's the combination of a NOT and an AND gate and it shares some of its properties as well. See you then.